Hello everybody. I am back today with a sketches by Allison layout. I'm going to use my punches today. I included hearts on my layout so I could follow along maybe for a couple projects with uh, scrap timber and then as usual I'm late so hearts was yesterday's prompt. Um, anyway, <laughs> I am doing really well. If you watched my early morning Monday musings, I'm still running a little bit behind, obviously, because this video was supposed to go up last night. Um, but I am getting things done. I'm doing okay. Keeping up with things, prioritizing appropriately, that kind of things. So I'm going to use my How to Kill a Kit with Style from August. I am still working with this kit. I still have pages I want to do, stories I want to tell, etc., etc. So I'm going to go ahead and work with it for the month of September as well. So I went through and I grabbed all these super cute 6x6 paper pads. I have my heart punch. I have my hexagon punch. And I have those two 6x6 papers that I fussy cut. I started fussy cutting them, and I'm going to fussy cut more of them today. <laughs> They're the 6x6 six six papers that keep on giving. So, fast forward a little bit. I have my hexagons and my hearts all punched and ready to go. And now I'm going to go ahead and get them into place on my white background. I am following the sketch really closely today. Um, I love this one. It's probably one of my favorite sketches from this sketch bundle. This is sketch number six, and it is from Allison Davis's Scrapbooking with Sketches, the one page sketches. All of my hexagons are getting inked up with Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide ink. I love this sketch bundle. It has been so much fun to create with. And um, we're going to keep going, I think, with this series a couple times a month because I went ahead and bought the triangle bundle and the, what's the other one? I think it's circles. And we've already done the squares and the hexagons. Well, almost the hexagons. So we definitely need to just keep plugging along, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just create the background. I'm going to follow... Uh, the sketch. Now my hexagons that I'm using are larger than the hexagons that the sketch calls for. So I am going to go ahead and adjust my design accordingly. I'm also going to use some hearts. So I loaded, I um, layered some hearts on top of some white hexagons. So we still have the hexagon look, but you can see there's kind of like these cute little hearts. I also have some frames intermingled among there just for some interest and different so it's not all just punched hexagons next i'm going to go ahead and mat my photos i'm going to need, use two different six by six papers this uh six by six paper pad from honeybee stamps it's called the bee's knees it's a discontinued paper pad um and for I do have other papers in this uh, How to Kill a Hip style, but I just keep using this one. So this paper pad, it's like the little paper pad that could. Uh, so I cut my mat and then I took another six by six paper and I am cutting it in half. So I have two three by six pieces and I'm going to kind of stagger them so they'll have this little bit of yellow behind my two photos and that's another way that I am changing up this sketch. The sketch calls for one kind of smaller photo and I am using a larger um, mat with two photos. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my pictures in place and once I have these photos in place, this layout is going to come together so super easy because the paper and the hexagons are pretty much doing all the work for me. Once I have the photos in place, I'm going to go ahead and kind of continue the design with the hexagons just a little bit down below my photo. I'm going, I only had a 
we couple hexagons left. I actually had managed to punch like exactly the amount of hexagons I needed. So uh, I'm going to kind of trim them up and uh, Frankenstein one of them so that I do have what I need to kind of finish off the design along the bottom edge of the picture. I'm gonna use this foam sticker that says Sunshine and that's gonna act as my title. Uh, and these two photos are the first of a whole set of photos <laughs> from last month when we spent the day at a local amusement park. And for those of you who live in my area, these are Idlewild photos and I'm going to have oodles of them. <laughs> so next, I'm just going through all the embellishments and trying to decide what I want. I don't want too much. I just want a couple of small things. I am going to pretty much use just this nice journaling block and I can write on that using one of my gel pens for a little bit of journaling. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use these foam hearts. And I'm just gonna make a couple of little clusters around the journaling area. Oh, I don't know if my microphone is picking that up or not, but my Mr. Fitzy, who is under my table, is sneezing. Next up, I am going to go ahead and fussy cut some flowers. So I'm going to rough cut them right now, just to, so that I don't fussy cut more from the page than I need. But uh, I have a couple of these hexagons, like you can see there, that are white. So they're either framed where you have, it's not a full hexagon, it's a, just like the punched frame of a hexagon, or I have a couple that are a white hexagon. And so on those kind of open spaces, I'm just gonna add some flowers. So what I basically did was, is if the hexagon is yellow, it got a teal flower, um, uh, aqua teal flower. If the hexagon was aqua or teal, it got a yellow flower. Once I have them all kind of in place, I'm just gonna go through, fussy cut them, ink them up, and then put them into those empty spots. Another thing that I thought about doing was adding some wax seals to some of the hexagons, which I think would have been absolutely adorable. My only reason I didn't do it is because I don't have yellow or or um, I don't have any yellow and I don't have any of the tealy aqua color in some wax. So, and when I tried to do it with white, I just felt like it was too much white. Like there's enough white going on this page. And while it looked adorable and I would totally, um, once I get the right colors, I would have added wax seals. So if you are uh, at home kind of playing along or creating a layout, uh, using this design, I definitely recommend if you have them, if you've discovered them yet, grab some wax seals and uh, put them into the middle of the hexagons because I think that that would add a beautiful kind of uh, different element to the pages. I uh, ended up, this is a very kind of paper heavy layout other than those kind of foam stickers. Everything on this layout is paper. I always try to add other things and it just, it wasn't working because this background is quite busy. I did add some mist though. I'm gonna add some mist at the end once all the flowers are in place. So that's not paper. And here is a little bit of splatter. So I went ahead and I just got my favorite black ink, covered my photo and I am just doing some splatter. I chose black because my journaling block is black and also the centers of the flowers are black. So just a little bit more pop of black will pull it all together. And here is today's layout all done. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you aren't already a subscriber, I'd love to have you join us. We have lots of fun here. Talk to you again soon. Bye.